Hey everybody, how you doing today? This is Last Outrider. We're here with a very important video from what is Rogue Trader. This time, we're finally dealing with what is the Imperium. I had to give you all the... I dealt with all the nice little uh, 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 Space Marine stuff, but now, now we're dealing with what is the universe itself, the galaxy itself. What is chaos? What is the Inquisition? What, who is the Emperor? All of these things is going to be dealt with in the next few parts of this video series. So let's get to it. I think you're going to find it incredibly illuminating. This section introduces the players to the Age of the Imperium. The background to the Warhammer 40,000 game. Whilst the rules can be used to represent any film or book-based universe, the descriptions that follow have evolved along with the game itself. The scene is our galaxy, a galaxy largely populated and dominated by humanity, although humans with very different attitudes and expectations to our own. In addition to the countless masses of mankind, there are intelligent alien races. Many of these are relatively timid, easily dominated, and worthy of only a brief mention in the pages that follow. Other races are as ambitious and ruthless as humanity itself, and are its most bitter enemies. All of these races live within our galaxy. Of extragalactic races, virtually nothing is known, for the distances between galaxies are so vast that they have so far defeated all but the most cursory of examinations. The background material presented in this section of the book has been evolved during the author's games and campaigns over several years. In that time, many of the races, their worlds and civilizations and attitudes have been worked out in considerable detail. That's at the time of Rogue Trader. <clears throat> Not the least among these is humanity and the vastness of human-controlled space known as the Imperium. Much of this information is presented here, while further material awaits publication in the form of individual game scenarios and supplements. It is up to you, as players, to use this information as you see fit. Use this information as you see fit. The 40k universe was never written in stone. That's why any argument about the background and the fluff is just idiotic. Never, nothing is set. Nothing. It says it right there. Sorry, I'll keep going. <clears throat> Ha! There is nothing to prevent you, the player, from expanding or altering the material given here. In some cases, this will even be necessary if you are to derive the full benefit from the background. Because even within a single political body, such as the Imperium, each planet has its own unique flora, fauna, and distinct civilization. Within the guidelines given, you will be able to devise your own worlds, placing the stamp of your own imagination upon the game. So feel free to do whatever you like. The very size... Oh, wait, did I skip some? I'm sorry. The galaxy. Yes, the galaxy. A very common question, how many worlds are in the Imperium? How big is the Imperium? And what's left in the galaxy? It's answered right here. The galaxy contains some 400,000 million stars of various types. Of these, only a fraction are presumed to have habitable planetary systems. And only a fraction of these have been investigated. Most are situated within the spiral arms between 10 and 40,000 light years from galactic center. 
the very size of the galaxy means that despite the use of faster than light warp drives, much of it remains unknown. Got it? Much of the galaxy in 40K is still unknown. Even the human controlled Imperium, by far the largest and most widely distributed of all stellar empires, contains only a tiny fraction of the galaxy's stars. New worlds are constantly being discovered and investigated, along with their attendant civilizations, creatures, and resources. Even so, there is no possibility of either humans or aliens ever, ever exhausting the galaxy's potential to provide new worlds for habitation and exploitation. Boom. There you have it. Okay? All of the other races, including the Imperium, which is considered the largest of all the stellar empires, barely scratching the number of worlds and resources and planets and discovery of the galaxy. Barely. Keep that in mind. Because in the next episode, we're going to talk about what is warp space and how do we get through it? Until then, bye.